This week, you'll learn a wide range of techniques for shooting action photography. Adorama TV presents Visual Impressions with Joe DiMaggio, where you will learn to create compelling and imaginative photography. Here's your host, Joe DiMaggio. Hi, Joe DiMaggio for Adorama TV, and um, we're going to talk about sports and action photography today. In this particular case, we're going to be photographing professional bicyclers and amateur bicyclers. It's Memorial Day. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous day. Blue sky, white clouds, sun is out, and we're going to have a beautiful time today. So let's talk a little bit of what, what we need to do. The first thing we need to do is we have to have the proper equipment. What I recommend, especially on a day that's going to be 90 degrees, one camera, one lens, two cards, two batteries and a bottle of water or two bottles of water. Stay hydrated, that's kind of important, okay? So what do we want to do when we're photographing a bicycle? We find an angle and we go to the highest shutter speed allowable. In this particular case, I would prefer it to be one thousandth of a second or two thousandth of a second, ISO between 120 and 220, and I'm going to shoot directly into the teeth of the bicycler. I want to focus on the eyes of the bicycler, and I want to go at f4. In this particular case, I've got a 70 to 200 Canon f4. So we want to go straight ahead, and we kind of want to nail that, preferably in a vertical, okay? Especially at 200 millimeters, we want to be in a vertical. If we want to go to a horizontal, we go to 70 millimeters, so we get a group of bicyclers together. So that's the first thing we want to do. High shutter speed, maximum aperture, the best possible ISO, somewhere between 120 and 160, bright sunny day. We go into the shade, you can kick it up to 220 or to 320. Now, let's talk about something else that we're going to do today. We're going to pan. Panning appears to be very difficult, but in actuality, it's very simple. What I recommend is you start in four stages. You start at a 250th of a second, a 60th of a second, a 30th of a second, and an eighth of a second. So what we want to do is we want to take our left hand, drop the camera in. Right hand, handshaking position, bring it to here. We're going to be ready on the camera like that. We're going to pre-select the shutter speed and aperture, 250 at, let's say, f5.6, in, the, in, in this particular case, half in the shade. And what we're going to do, wide stance, we're going to be nimble, relaxed, and we're going to do this. You pick, here's where you're going to photograph. You pick up the bicycle here, shoot here, and finish here. It's one motion. That's it. Watch. One motion. Okay? One motion. Okay. You pick it up here, you shoot here, you finish there. 250th of a second. Then you work your way down to 125th of a second, a 60th of a second, a 30th, and then you go down to what we call time motion. On a pan at, let's say, one eighth of a second or one quarter of a second, the camera has to be moving at exactly the same speed as the bicycle. So if the bicycle is moving at, let's say, 21 miles an hour, the camera must move at 21 miles an hour. It's, it's pretty exact, okay? If you don't nail it, what's going to happen is you're going to have not only time motion, but you're going to have a blurred time motion. Yeah, time motion has the motion to it, but it's not really a blur. I don't particularly like that, particular, I don't like that word blur. I like time motion. If it's done properly, it is absolutely awesome. When you're panning, make sure you have room to your left and your right so you're not hitting pedestrians, you're not hitting viewers, and you're not hitting other photographers. So give yourself enough room, it would be something like that, enough room so you could go from here to here without hitting anyone. Also make sure if you're close to the bicycles that the lens shade isn't going to hit somebody. You don't want to do that, okay? So that's what we need to do, light, airy, have our water, one camera, one lens, two cards, two batteries. We've got a little bit of cash with us and a credit card if we need it, that's fine. But we want to keep things light. Um, as you can see, I'm wearing my beret. That's my trademark. I wear it every time. But rest assured, I'm not going to get a sunburn up here. I've got on a, a bandana. This is to keep me actually cool and keep perspiration away from other things. And it also helps protect my neck from sunburn, etc. So long sleeve shirt, that's what we're doing, okay? It's all good. 
Wide stance. Practice works fine. Motorcycle, and here we go. Perfect, absolutely perfect. Good shooting, keep shooting, it's all good. Joe D for Adorama TV. Adorama TV is brought to you by Adorama, your best source for the equipment and knowledge you need. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. Place your order by 7 p.m. and it ships the same day. Plus, the next time you're in New York City, be sure to visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue. Check out the Adorama Rental Company for professional cameras, lighting, computers, and more. We'll help you make the best selection to match your needs while giving you the knowledge to achieve the best outcome from your rental. Adorama is your complete solution for equipment, printing, training, and more. Adorama, more than a camera store.